I'm ready to tell you guys like this is this is what's next, you know? Hey guys, it is Saturday morning. We're just about to head out to brunch. We're gonna be meeting up with another couple that we actually haven't seen in what feels like a really long time, but I think it's really only been like a month or two. The beginning of this year has just felt so long. I really feel like <laughs> an old person in very specific moments and in a moment like that where I'm like, mm, this year's felt so long makes me feel real old for some reason. I don't know why, but let's look at my outfit. I'm pretty sure I declared that these overalls were over maybe the last time I wore them in the vlog, but you know what? We're making it work today because I have no other long pants to wear. I've made some orders, I've tried some things. Nothing is working out so far. We're still trying things, but so far I can't find any long pants that work for me. And I even, I even tried to put some jeans on today. It was not gonna happen, especially if I wanted to actually eat something. So here I am with my 20 week bump. We are officially halfway, huge moment. I need to stop rambling, but this is the outfit. The overalls are pretty much working, but we're gonna be eating outside, so I needed to have long pants because for some reason, it's cold outside. I really did not approve this weather change, but I guess I have to go with it. And y'all know I love an overalls moment, even though these are not really made for the bump. I'm making it work. <laughs> Got his boots on. Can't breathe with a jacket on. Maybe it's the overalls, maybe it's the brunch. Brunch was amazing, we're all done. We haven't been there in a really long time, since definitely way before COVID. COVID yeah. And we've only been there for brunch once, and I totally forgot about how good it is. But we're out and about, and I got a present yesterday that I'm so excited about, but I wanted to show you guys because we're about to drop them off, because of course I get a gift and then I immediately want to fix them these boots completely unexpected but at the same time i think we found them together right mm -hmm. it's a gift from grant i didn't say that i'll include you <laughs> i've never had boots like this i don't think i got some secondhand boots whenever we were in atlanta but you've never really atlanta worn those. they have not been worn okay <laughs> i don't know what it is but white boots I just, I'm always attracted to them. And I've never had like the perfect pair of white boots. I had a pair of like off-white boots that I found at Target a couple of years ago, but they never quite fit me, but I would still wear them. And now I have these. The brand is Ranch Road. It says they're made in Spain, but I think they are like a Texas brand. I don't know if you can see because it's very bright. It's like an off-white all over with these really cute little beige stars. To me, it's like a Sanrio cowgirl, especially this little star right here. So cute, but for whatever reason, they're my size but they're super, super tight right here. Well, obviously, because it's like a really pointed toe, but I I have to have these boots. They're so wonderful, so perfect. I wanna wear them with all of my new little cute pregnancy dresses and everything. So we're gonna drop them off at the cobbler and we're gonna see what they can do about making them fit a little bit better. I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm full of brunch and baby, and I'm excited about boots, and I can't breathe right now. Yeah. So I just wanted to show them before we just drop them off, because they were a super exciting surprise yesterday. I was not expecting this. And then they showed up yesterday. No, they're very nice. You yeah, know how yeah, Grant is with his boots. Boots good. He's always wanting to buy boots. I didn't know that would really extend to me, but here we are. Here we are. All right, let's see what they can do. So we can boot scoot together. Yeah. Alright, I just dropped off the boots and we realized that there's a Soma right here and I uh, have zero bras that fit me so I'm just gonna see if they have something because I have nothing. Alright, so for the m bra I've sized out and so I'm gonna try this super super comfy soft wire free option. I got pretty much every size and style to try. All right. Cheers our beers. Cheers to a successful bra shopping experience. Grant didn't come with me, but 
I'm ready to celebrate. I said I didn't look like I belonged. The oh, girlies are asking. So a lot of you guys have been asking about my Starbucks drink order. Great, stop. You're like showing your work address. <laughs> no. So a lot of people have been asking exactly where I work. So a lot of people <laughs> have been showing up at my job. <laughs> And they're bringing the wrong Starbucks and, and drink I order. Get it. I get it. It's fun to go to work. <laughs> Love it. Okay. So I just took a sip of Grant's. Can we turn this down a little bit? So I just took a sip of Grant's coffee and it's so good and he invented it. And I feel like I'm never really able to participate in the whole Instagram like mm, here's how I order my coffee or here's how I make my coffee and it seems like that's kind of like a running theme like everyone does that not actually jealous but I feel like this <laughs> yeah. is worth sharing because it is so good and Grant said he invented it well <laughs> I worked with Starbucks on this great new beverage nitro cold brew with sweet cream and then I add in three pumps of sugar-free cinnamon syrup and it's very good it's so good and he doesn't like super sweet stuff and really no, neither do i sweet, i can really. i can deal with sweet stuff grant like can't deal with sweets obviously i can deal with sweet stuff <laughs> but yeah i don't like sweet i don't I usually this has uh, a nice flavor yeah. but it's not super sweet which is kind of hard to do 70 calories in the uh grande size very yummy so. two thumbs up from both of us is mm -hmm. this the first time you've done this one mm -mm. it's been a while grant said he got cinnamon squirts when he got in the car <laughs> so squirts. you could don't forget the cinnamon squirts squirt it all right off to another mission though i am hesitant it's really good. okay we're outside the west elm we just decided we are going to end the quest for a couch today it's happening we're not gonna let this go on and on and forget about it and come back to it every couple of months like we've been doing we have the two couches that we're really interested in if you don't remember i know this is such an interesting storyline but there's one at west elm and there's one at crate and barrel and we found a couple of different materials that we'd like to use for both of them one is significantly more expensive but a little bit more classic and it's something that's just been like in the back of my head for a really long time and I just wanted to get out because clearly I have other things to focus on. So we've made the goal to make it happen today. Just settle it. Okay, this is the West Elm option, but we wouldn't get it in this material. It's super, super comfy, squishy, everything I love. And we wouldn't get it in this shape, we'd just get it in a straight sofa. All right, we're taking a sit. It's taking us back. We're trying to remember things. And this is definitely the slouchier option. How do you feel? Comfy? Do you feel yeah, held comfy. like a baby? Yeah. That's how I Swaddled. feel. Swaddled. Swaddled. Swaddled deep. <laughs> Grant likes the crate and barrel one better because it's a lot more structured. Substance. Substance. So no big decisions were made at West Elm, but this baby was having a party, like doing the full Macarena, either to the music or because the baby was loving that pink drink. It was probably the pink drink. But now we're at Crate and Barrel and the decisions have to happen. All right, before we get to the couch stuff, we gotta visit all the baby stuff and Grant's gotta fix his hair. I really, really like this crib, but in white. This looks black but it's actually navy, very deceiving, but I like it in white. Okay, so this is the glider that Georgetta suggested, and I think it's the one that Mary ended up getting. Do you see? I don't think we have room for all this, but it is so comfy. So leave me. Leave me in. <laughs> We've lost comfy. Grant to the glider. I've had comfy. Comfier gliders? Yeah. Apparently Grant's doing lots of glider shopping when we're not watching. How cute is this bedding right here? I'm getting so distracted. I call this the Sims couch because it is just like blocky and plain and just straightforward, but it has the height, it has the depth, it is comfy, and it also comes in a material that we really, really, really like, and it would definitely go with our room. It's just kind of eh, you know? Okay, we're back home. I feel like there are a lot of things that I want to talk about right now. Probably going to talk about everything out of order. I feel like I need to update you on everything from last vlog 
thank you so much just before i get into anything thank you so much for all of the kind words the support the prayers the promise of eating cookies i didn't even ask for that and y'all came out and said it and it's like so sweet and it made me so happy and more than anything i really 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 appreciate hearing from you guys that have been through the same situation either you have lupus or Sjogren's you had to go through the weekly testing and monitoring or you know you had to go through the heart block and maybe a pacemaker i heard from a almost kind of surprising to me number of people that have been through that whole side of it and it was so encouraging to me to hear from those people because they're like yeah we made it through it was really hard it was really rough there were surgeries all of these things but we made it to the other side and i just can't thank you guys enough for sharing those stories with me it's just like absolutely priceless to to be in this situation and to get to hear from so many of you guys that have been there done it you're seeing the other side and it's good and it's just so encouraging and i haven't had another day where i was so worried and stressed and just like crying from the moment i woke up like last weekend and i'm feeling much more positive and hopeful we've read more um we have a heart monitor i told you guys that we ordered one of those and i will show it to you probably tomorrow when we use it we actually had another one come in today because <laughs> initially we ordered one and then it got delayed the shipping got delayed and i was like no i want to have one right now so i went back on amazon and ordered a different one that could be shipped overnight and so suddenly now we have two maybe we'll try out the new one and see if it's better but i did talk to my high risk ob yesterday all about using that because we read uh, a paper saying that it was useful to check the heart rate every day rather than doing once a week checks because the heart block can develop very quickly um, so it's actually good to do it at home i know a lot of people and a lot of people on instagram were telling me what's what whenever i showed myself using the monitor but we brought everything up with the doctor we actually brought the thing to the doctor and she was like this is completely safe to use for the health of the baby for your health like this cannot hurt you the only thing that makes her wary of them is that it could potentially cause you more anxiety if maybe you don't find the heartbeat right away and i had no trouble with that every single time that i've used it i found a heartbeat within less than a minute like 15 30 seconds it's been very 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 easy to use and the heart rate has stayed around the same range i asked her a ton of questions like what to look for all of that stuff and really it, that's not something that like i'm gonna give myself a diagnosis at home like that's just not how it's gonna work but if i do notice a heart rate under a certain range then that's a red flag to me check it again in a couple of hours like she let me know the best way that i can use that at home i know it's not as good as the stuff that they use at the doctor it would really just be something that i would be able to note and be watching and then that would send me to the doctor you know what i mean so a lot of people are like don't use that don't use that it's not good for you but really i think the main reason doctors tell you not to use it is to help you not cause yourself more anxiety probably because the people that are using them are using them because they have anxiety around their pregnancy and a lot of things can make that worse it's a whole thing but for anyone that thought that maybe that was like a not healthy thing which i got a lot of messages on instagram saying that was not healthy it is healthy and is completely okayed by my doctors um, i wanted to make sure of that before proceeding with using it and everything so that's one thing that i've been doing this week that has been really good i've been taking notes of the heart rate and i will do it again in the morning and i'll show you how that works and you'll be able to hear the heartbeat <sighs> i'm out of breath <laughs> again um we've been home for a little while all my comfy clothes i was so over wearing the overalls and it's so weirdly cold outside also we haven't had ac in our house for the last week and usually in texas that's like a death sentence you're like not gonna sleep a wink like i like it to be pretty cool in the room whenever i sleep 
um but we've been so lucky it's been in the 60s and the low 70s since the ac went out and it's almost not even been noticeable we've slept fine i think the first night luna had a hard time and she was waking up a ton like a hundred times so it makes it hard to sleep when you're sleeping with a restless animal but since then she's been fine we've been able to open the windows which is also not really a thing in texas or at least it, it usually isn't but we are <laughs> very very lucky right now because the ac guy came out and he said that he has to like order a part which who knows when that is gonna come hopefully it comes before the weather heats up because i think later this week it's gonna like get up to the 80s i don't know that would not be fun i feel like i didn't talk about everything about the baby situation we're at 20 weeks we're feeling good, feeling so much better than I was feeling last weekend. We are gonna continue on with the weekly checks with the high-risk OB through week 26. We also got an appointment with the pediatric cardiologist and that's not this next week, but the next week. So really looking forward to that. It feels like a step in the right direction to at least have that scheduled, even though it's a little bit out. But you know, our check yesterday went great. Everything is looking good. We had like 20 questions for the doctor and she's super patient and really nice. And she answered all of the questions and made us feel so much better. And it just feels good when a doctor's like, this is what I'm here for, you know, and ask all the questions you've got. And it, it was just, it was good. I feel like we got really lucky to get to see her and have her working with us. Just in general, I feel like I've been feeling the baby move so much more. Oh, here's a big question. Big question I should have asked like at the beginning of the vlog. Gender reveal. I get questions every single day, all day, especially on Instagram, also in YouTube comments. Do you know the gender? When are you gonna tell us? Are you gonna tell us? Like, what's the deal? Is it a boy? Is it a girl? Like, people are constantly assuming it's a boy, it's a girl by like seeing the heart rate or like the way my belly looks or just any number of things. Like, in the last vlog, people thought that they heard the doctor say one thing, and I'm like, I, I have no idea what you're hearing. I don't hear that. But it's like a lot. <laughs> it's also a lot because grant will slip and say the gender in the vlogs and then i have to like edit around it and it's, we just need to tell you guys and i have just never really seen myself like doing like a gender reveal like i think they're cute they're fun for everybody to like come out with creative ways to share the gender of their baby i think it's fun it's cool but i just never seen myself doing it you know what i mean i don't know i just want to do it simple but fun and i want to do it soon because i want to share it with you guys and basically i'm bringing this up because i would like to hear what you think that we should do i think that would be fun you guys can be involved in the decision making process i feel like it's kind of like not been something at the forefront of my mind but in the last like week or two i'm like i'm ready to tell you guys like this is this is what's next you know and it's very obvious that you guys have been ready to know so let me know what you guys think in the comments how should we do our little youtube gender reveal because everybody in our lives already knows like we told our parents and our families like right away like when we were like we're pregnant it's a you know like everything came out all at once we didn't do like a gender reveal we've known the gender of the baby since we chose the embryo uh if you want to know all about that decision making process if you missed my fertility q a video i will link it down below or up in the card up here i explain all about how we chose the gender basically summary we chose the embryo based on all of the genetic testing that we got we didn't choose the embryo based on the gender which a lot of people make assumptions about that kind of annoying honestly i probably shouldn't be annoyed about it but i'm pregnant a lot of things are annoying to me but that's the situation there but if you want to know more about it watch that video because i explain it in detail i kind of feel like i'm missing something but let's wrap up this little ramble session with a bra haul because I hit it big. They were doing like a three for 99 deal. And I've really been like dead set against 
spending a lot on bras during this time because it's like how long are they gonna last me am i gonna be able to wear them after like all of this stuff like but whatever i just want a good bra you know so i got some good bras soma has good bras it's just undeniable so the first one i got is probably the ugliest bra i've ever had in my life but it is so comfy it's just like a little v-neck almost like a sports bra but it's a super super thin like seamless material if you have like those no-show thongs it's kind of like the same material but it's really good quality and you've got some very light not padding but like coverage right here it just fits perfectly i know it will be perfect for like under t-shirts or higher neck stuff but it won't be perfect under everything because this is a lot of coverage and uh, the other really great thing is it's a super stretchy material so as i grow i think this will still work for me um, but after i tried on all of the variations of that bra i was like this is not really workable for a lot of things like if i wear like a dress with a square neck that would like hang out horribly so i tried on a couple more bras i'm not exactly sure what these are called but i will link them down below they are both super comfortable they don't have any padding and actually i don't think i've ever tried on a bra with this kind of material it's almost like a foam but it's really really lightweight there is a wire but it doesn't dig in it's super comfortable i got bigger sizes these are some big daddy bras but they fit they are comfortable and actually i think they're both really pretty this one has like a little floral pattern but it's not anything that would like show through your clothes this one's like a nice light pink they have a few different colors i'll link these down below if you are in the same boat or if you just want a cute bra because it's not like these are nursing bras or anything like that it would be totally pointless for me to buy nursing bras at this point my size is most likely going to change by the time nursing is even like part of the conversation you know i just feel like life is too short for bad bras <laughs> that don't wash well don't wear well and i do like the one that i got from target that reminds me of the soma and bliss bra which was my favorite bra for sure before pregnancy and at the beginning of pregnancy, I have graduated out of the sizing available for the In Bliss bra. So sad because I would just order more of those forever. No matter what size I was, I would just order more of those because they're so comfy and so nice and they're not like sports bra. Like I'm, I'm very committed to like the two cup idea. Like this kind of bra, so comfy, so wonderful in its own way, but like it, it just kind of like joins the boobs together not my favorite not really what i love even though i love the comfort of it all if you are looking for a bra get the endless bra if you fit in the sizing currently i don't so sad i'm like out of it we were both hitting a wall i'm surprised we didn't come home and take a nap yesterday after the appointment we went out and we got donuts with ice cream like an ice cream sandwich but it's a glazed donut at this place milk and cream it is it's like the best thing i've ever eaten in my life got a glazed warm donut with cookie butter ice cream with rainbow sprinkles mixed in it's a warm donut and it's the donut alone would be delicious like i could totally see a place like that like calling it in with like the donut and just do like a whatever donut it's so good I've decided for these Friday high risk appointments, we should like go and get treats afterward. <laughs> and that was our treat yesterday. And we came home after that and took a two hour nap. <laughs> it was a glorious day. <gasps> the other thing we should show you, trees. I told you I had a lot to talk to you about. I'll show you the trees tomorrow. <sighs> Ooh, we're eating like kings today. Yep. Yours looks like it's all beans. <laughs> bean baby. <laughs> I love it. That's this girl. Hey, bean baby. She's <laughs> like, where is my order? How are you doing today? <laughs>